Emilia Schuffetalli, CEO student and member of the Youth Journalist in the Summit year. Mrs. Williams. Jody, please. Okay, Jody. Mrs. Williams is my mother. Okay. <laughs> I love her. Sorry. Jody. As a human rights activist, uh, for you, which are the solutions for the refugees crisis that increased after the wars uh, in the um, Middle East and in North Africa? Well, there are things to be done immediately, obviously, and there are things to be done in the long term. I believe that people have the right to move, freedom of movement in the world, especially if you're fleeing war. And I believe that especially those who have been involved in creating that war have a responsibility to help. My country, as the leader in the invasion of Iraq, but with you know, the cooperation and participation of other countries, I believe has a huge responsibility to help the European states to deal with the aftermath of what Mr. Bush and his friends created. And that's in the short term. But in the long term, I think that if human beings have any brains at all, which I really doubt when you look at history, you ha they should look at this situation and realize that it happened because of an illegal invasion of a sovereign nation. And when you invade and you cause violence, you are going to have a reaction. Ultimately, we really have to begin to teach people about the, what militarizing your country, more and more weapons and spending more and more money on the military and glorifying war is just going to lead to more and more problems like this. We have to change how we think. Won't happen today, won't happen tomorrow. It's a long-term effort, but it has to be done. Or I'm not quite sure what the future will be. Mrs. Williams, Jody. thank you so much. <laughs> I'm Rim Lubriki, serious student from Libya. As you are a Nobel Peace Prize for anti-personnel landmines, my question is, what's your activity right now in this field after the war in Libya and the Middle East? Mm -hmm. About landmines? Yeah. Personally, I don't work on the landmine campaign very much anymore, but my husband does, so I stay on top of it. The as anybody who has studied the landmine issue and the history of the use of mines, the primary problem with landmines and explosive remnants of war across North Africa was World War II. And I recall very strongly Egypt in particular in the negotiations for the mine ban treaty would not, they, they used the excuse that if the Europeans did not come and take the mines out of the ground since they put them there, they would not deal with the problem. But certainly there is responsibility, but the, the nations themselves also have a responsibility to clean the land so their own people don't get blown up. I think that those who were trained to put mines in the ground and those who were trained to take them out have the responsibility. And the state has a responsibility to its people.